Every parent has to learn the importance of saying no to their children at certain point of time and stick to it. The structure these boundaries give is very important, no matter how old they are. Through this, they learn that things do not always go their way. They learn what is okay to do and what is not okay to do. They also learn to trust the strength of their parents. Structure and boundaries bring security and predictability to their lives. Denying our children can be challenging. When we utter phrases like, you can't get that toy because you saw it at the store, or no snacks, lunch is in 10 minutes, or you must be home by 9.30, it's a school night. It often triggers tears of disappointment, resentment, or anger. Supporting our children through these moments of disappointment is essential for their growth. It's our responsibility to help them navigate the frustrations that come with hearing no. Learning to delay immediate gratification enables them to wait for what they desire and build the resilience needed to achieve their goals. These instances also present opportunities for us to assist our children in developing the emotional regulation skills vital for tackling life's challenges. Navigating the complex realm of parenting, the difficulty of saying no to our children frequently ignites intense discussions. Some caregivers fear that denial may hinder their child's emotional development, while others argue that establishing limits provides children a clearer view of the world. Challenges Eight-year-old explorer Sam Adventure Baker, the youngest, to conquer El Capitan in Yosemite National Park is a testament to this approach. His parents have admirably navigated the thin line between encouraging his passions and teaching him the power of saying no. Their parenting style serves as a compelling example of the critical balance parents must maintain between fostering their children's autonomy and guiding them to appreciate the importance of setting and respecting boundaries. Linnea Walter, a parent, shares her strategies she learned raising her children. Do tuning in, she had to learn to read her kids. She learned when to come close. A hug and distraction worked well when they were in the early stages of losing it, but was not the best approach when they were really angry. Then she learned to back off a bit, stay nearby but stay quiet and give them time to come around. One thing was certain that arguing or demanding cooperation at this time was not effective. Three patients. She said she was not always successful and temper tantrums certainly happened. This is when her patience had to kick in. She had to manage my own emotions, frustration, embarrassment, anger. It wasn't easy, but she knew that if she lost it, so would my child. Parenting is not a universal template. It's a delicate waltz that demands endurance, affection, and a healthy dose of humor. Setting limits and saying no as a parent should not be seen as a denial of love, but rather as an expression of care and concern. Voicing no proves vital in imparting lessons about safety, respect, and self-restraint to children. It's an instrument that helps shape their conduct, teaching them to distinguish between what's right and wrong, safe, and risky. It's not about suppressing their wishes, but steering them towards making sounder choices. The potency of no materializes as a demonstration of affection and concern. It's about parents desiring the best for their kids, even if it entails being momentarily perceived as the villain by them. It's about readying them for the reality of the world, where they won't always have their way. Saying no says love wraps up. Uttering no is not about being severe or cruel, but rather about instilling important life skills in children and expressing love. 
Therefore, the next instance you grapple with saying no, remember, it's a fundamental element of parenting that conveys I care for you. We as parents set the boundaries out of our love for our children, even when they are looking at us with tear-filled eyes or are shouting the dreaded, I hate you. I know that they don't realize it in that moment, but our limits say, I love you, 